It's been nearly a year since the Golf Dome on Worley Drive collapsed in the December blizzard. Now it's getting ready to reopen after it was reinflated last week. We haven't been able to do a lot inside the dome other than the dome itself. So now we're doing all the redoing all the finishes. We're replacing the bathrooms and the office. We're going to be doing some work on the bar, uh, and we're just going to get ready for the winter season. The newest feature that visitors will see is a translucent skylight that will let in plenty of natural light. There are also new structural improvements, a thicker fabric, and more insulation that will keep the dome cool in the summer and warm in the winter. I think the cool thing is we're actually going to be adding more top tracer bays. So down on the first level there was 20. We're actually adding 22. Uh, up here we're going to keep 10 still, uh, but we're going to have a total of 48 bays, uh, which is great. We're really excited about it. We're getting actually we got a new ball machine, which you're actually going to be able to order balls from your uh, from your bay and then go pick them up. It's really neat. Golfers and families are also able to visit the new restaurant in the facility, which opened last week under new ownership and a new menu. One new addition is that golfers will be able to order food from their base and have it delivered right to them. Our goal is to basically bring a sports casual restaurant to the dome, you know, and really hit the hit home on the hospitality, you know, not in just inside the restaurant, but inside the dome also. Management is hoping to have the dome back open by mid to late October and is excited to get back to business. In Williamsville, Aiden Jolly, News 4.